Who are these people? And how do they enable all of these innovations? Stick with me until the end to find out the secret to science's 400 years of success. The secret to learning more about science? Subscribe now! We're about to embark on an adventure of science, history, and learn a little about these four amazing men, these giants of science. We humans have reached some great milestones in our early history. But progress was very slow. Advances were often hindered by social and religious forces. Individuals with new innovative ideas were often ridiculed, feared, and silenced. The Dark Ages was one of the worst of these periods in Europe after the fall of the Roman Empire. It was a different story in the Middle East, but that's a science story for another video. After a thousand years of stagnation, there was a flourish of civilization, the Renaissance. It is in this fertile environment that our story with the four giants begins. Born in Italy as the eldest of six, Galileo Galilei lived a life marked by curiosity and innovation. During his time, Spain was the dominant world power, and the Holy Roman Empire played a pivotal role in politics. Raised a Roman Catholic family, Galileo once considered a priesthood career. But fortunately for us, mathematics and physics captured his attention. For 20 years, Galileo studied object motion, laying the foundations of classical mechanics. He insisted that the universe's laws could only be understood through controlled experiments and repeatable observations rather than relying on philosophical argument or religious doctrine. He famously ran experiments by dropping balls from the Tower of Pisa to demonstrate that objects fall at the same rate regardless of weight. Galileo revolutionized the telescope, enhancing its magnification to 20 times. This enabled him to make significant astronomical discoveries, including the four largest moons of Jupiter, now called the Galilean moons. His observations strongly supported the new idea that the Sun was the center of the universe, not the Earth. But the Church did not approve. This new view of the cosmos challenged their doctrine and their power. Galileo's defiance of authority and his enthusiastic support of the truth he saw in his telescope got him convicted on suspicion of heresy, narrowly escaping the harsher typical punishment of torture. After a brief imprisonment, he was placed under house arrest for the rest of his life. It wasn't until 1992 that Pope John Paul II expressed regret for the Church's treatment of Galileo, acknowledging the error 359 years later. Although fierce and vocal in attacking his opponents, Galileo was at times humble. I have never met a man so ignorant that I couldn't learn something from him. Galileo was not without flaws. For example, he would not allow his two daughters to marry to avoid paying dowries to the husbands, so they became nuns. Galileo's methodical approach, imagining, testing, and observing, established the scientific method, a cornerstone of modern science. His reliance on evidence and mathematical laws to understand the natural world marked him as a key figure in the transition to scientific thought, earning him the title, the father of modern science. The same year Galileo died in 1642, another giant was born, Isaac Newton. He had a rough start. Born 15 weeks premature, he defied the odds by surviving. His father died before he was born, and his stepfather refused him, so young Isaac was raised by his grandparents. At this time in history, France under Louis XIV was the dominant cultural and military force in Europe. But in Newton's England, rights of parliament and limits to Crown's power boosted the interest and enthusiasm for the fledgling field of science. Often asked about his genius, Newton responded, If I have seen further than others, it is by standing upon the shoulders of giants. One of those giants was Galileo, who formulated the law of free fall and the parabolic path of projectiles, explaining how things move. Following in his footsteps, Newton explained why things move. He showed how forces affected objects in his three laws of motion. So what's with Newton and the apple? The story is that when the Great Plague of London broke out in 1665, people had to quarantine at home. Sounds familiar. While pondering the mysteries of the universe on the grounds of Woolsthorpe Manor, an object falling on his head is said to have triggered the question, what caused the apple to fall? The truth is that he saw the apple drop in the distance, not on his head. And that inspired the force of gravity. That's pretty cool. Newton also came up with the law of universal gravitation, 
which explain how everything in the universe attracts everything else. The force that keeps us tethered to the Earth and galaxies spinning obey the same law. To this day, this immense body of math and physics is called Newtonian mechanics. Some of his work required new math to determine small rates of change. So he invented calculus. A German mathematician, Gottfried Leibniz, also developed this new branch of mathematics. But instead of collaborating, Newton, very secretive about his work, fought with Leibniz over who came up with the idea first. For years! Later in life, Newton engaged in a notorious feud with Robert Hooke, another prominent scientist. They had strong scientific disagreements. For example, Newton thought light was a particle, while Hooke insisted it was a wave. It would take another giant 230 years later to tackle this problem. Newton, also fascinated with the cosmos, created a new type of telescope improving Galileo's design, which used a curved mirror to eliminate distortions. His fascination with alchemy, especially the search to turn lead and iron into gold, consumed much of his time. That doesn't work, by the way. Newton served as the master of the Royal Mint, where he applied his analytical skills to reform England's currency. He personally tracked down, interviewed suspects, and had counterfeiters executed. Newton's relentless drive and competitive nature were as much a part of his legacy as his scientific achievements. Sir Isaac Newton's life and work remain a testament to the power of human curiosity and intellect. The 18th century brings change to the world. Big changes empowering people. The American Revolution, the French Revolution, the world is on a new path and it's paved with the possibilities of science, electricity, chemical battery, electromagnetism. These were only possible because of the solid scientific methodology pioneered by Galileo, reinforced by Newton, and many others, each adding to the knowledge base and future potential. Over 100 years after the death of Isaac Newton, another giant appeared like none before him, Nikola Tesla. Born in Serbia, emigrated to the U.S. when he was 28 years old. As an electrical and mechanical engineer, he worked for a short time at Edison Machine Works in New York. But, as a prolific inventor, he soon set up his own lab and companies. Tesla's major contribution to science was his development of alternating current electrical systems, which became the standard power system beating Thomas Edison's DC approach. His method of using sine waves allowed transmitting electricity over long distances and much more efficiently. He invented the Tesla coil that produces high voltage, high current, high frequency, alternating current electricity. Tesla coils are still used in radio transmitters and have been shown to stimulate cell growth. Researchers are investigating the use of Tesla coils in regenerative medicine and cancer treatments. Despite his profound contributions, many of his projects were never realized in part because of his reclusive and eccentric lifestyle. He only slept two hours a day, which helps explain his lifetime large body of work. Tesla was obsessed with the numbers 3, 6, and 9. He thought understanding these numbers would unlock the secrets of the universe. In fact, some ancient cultures considered these numbers fundamental aspects of the universe and spiritual principles. But his obsessive compulsive disorder would compel him to walk around the block three times before entering a building. He lived much of his life in New York hotels, but always in a room with a number divisible by three. In 1926, he predicted, when wireless is perfectly applied, the whole earth will be converted into a huge brain. We shall be able to communicate with one another instantly, and the instruments will fit in our vest pockets. His work laid the foundational blocks for modern electrical engineering. His contributions to science and technology have shaped the modern world not only inspiring generations of scientists and engineers, but also providing them with new tools to explore the mysteries of the universe. The most recognizable of our four giants is Albert Einstein, theoretical physicist with a charming yet quirky personality, profoundly changed our understanding of time, space, and gravity. Born in Germany, he studied in Switzerland and moved to the U.S. to escape Nazi persecution in 1933. As a young man, he worked at the Swiss Patent Office evaluating submissions including clock mechanisms which were very popular at the turn of the century. One day, while commuting home on the tram, he noticed a large clock in the city square. As the tram was moving away from the clock, he envisioned a thought experiment of riding a beam of light. This was the inspiration he needed 
that became his theory of special relativity. The world's most famous equation is derived from this theory. Ten years later, he formulated the theory of general relativity, which stated massive objects like planets and stars cause a distortion in space-time that we perceive as gravity. His equations predicted a universe that was expanding or contracting, but he didn't believe it. In 1929, Edward Hubble, using a new telescope at Mount Palomar in California, confirmed that the universe is indeed expanding. Black holes were also suggested by his equations, but he didn't believe that either. It may be related to his dislike of socks. He refused to wear them because socks eventually developed holes. On the other end of the size scale, Einstein solved the problem of Brownian motion. That's when you put tiny objects like pollen in water and they jump around erratically. Einstein came up with a formula describing invisible particles that were colliding with the pollen. French physicist Jean-Baptiste Perrin tested and confirmed his theory convincing the physics world that atoms really did exist. Remember the battle between Newton and his rival Robert Hooke on the basic nature of light? Turns out they were both right. Einstein said that we should view light as both a particle and a wave. He proposed an experiment called the photoelectric effect. If you shine a high-energy light beam on metal plates, they eject electrons. This effect cannot be explained by classical physics. Light is a wave. His explanation clearly demonstrated that light could be understood as bits of energy, photons. This was a critical contribution to the foundation of the new field of quantum mechanics. Why was he so insightful? One factor is that Einstein's brain had extra folds in the frontal lobe, the center for abstract thought. The human brain's wrinkled surface gives it much larger surface area and allows for more neural connections. These four giants, born and working in many different parts of the world, shared some interesting traits besides their distinctive hair. Galileo, Newton, and Tesla never married, but Einstein had two wives and a few affairs. Like Galileo, Einstein had a rebellious nature and often clashed with authority figures. He felt the regimented style of his school stifled creativity and independent thought. That's probably why Galileo is Einstein's favorite scientist. Newton and Tesla were introverts and secretive with much of their work. For each one, their creativity overflowed to other subjects. Galileo and Einstein had a deep love for music. Galileo was skilled at playing the lute, and Einstein loved the violin. He believed music helped him think better, providing mental laboratories for his theories. The other two were open to mystic ideas as inspiration. For Newton, it was alchemy and numerology for Tesla. And all four had a lifelong dedication to science. Each of these giants made revolutionary contributions to our knowledge of the universe each of them, building on prior knowledge in new ways, enabled all of these devices and capabilities that we take for granted in our everyday lives. The secret of science's success is the knowledge of the universe revealed, not the personalities of the men. Science stands independent of individuals. Once revealed, these objective truths of science are to be shared with all mankind to uplift on the shoulders of the next giants. Learn more about related concepts that each science giant helped pioneer by clicking on the video of your choice. If you think we missed an important scientist, let us know in the comments below.